In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple assembly using the existing 3D part tool by importing part files from the Anovia database. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's go up to our compass and within the 3D button, select on that and we'll come into our modeling apps. Let's go ahead and open up assembly design application. Notice we get an easy warning saying that the creation was successful and that we are now within CATIA assembly design application. Next, let's go ahead up to specification tree and within this physical product, with your left mouse button, select on the word physical product. Now that you've activated it, you can see that it's highlighted in a teal color green. Next, go down to the section bar, make sure you are in product edition and move over to the insert existing product button and if you don't see it there go ahead and select the downward arrow and here you'll see a pop-up menu within the pop-up menu go ahead and select insert existing 3d part notice we get a window and it gives us a, some choices select or search an object or press escape to exit we're going to be looking for projects to place within our assembly make sure that the multi-section box is checked this will allow us to select more than one 3D part. And also notice that we have zero objects selected. Now we're going to go up to the search field. And within the search field, you're going to search for the files that you want to add into your assembly. Now you can type in a word to find them, or you can select my content. Notice here that we have 300 results. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and select the center wheel shaft, mounting bracket, wheel casting, support armature. Now notice within the window here, we have now a remove all, kind of an eraser type image, and we have a, a green check, which will allow us to accept all, or we can actually remove these selections and start over again. Notice that I also have four objects selected, so it's counting as we go as we select our items. Now we also have a multi-selection downward arrow button, and what that will do is that will open up, and as you can see here, it will show us the actual parts that we selected. This is in case you have a very large assembly that you're creating, then you can keep track of the items that you've selected if you are scrolling up and down within the Inovia database. Well, once you're happy with what you have, go ahead and select the green check button, and now your assembly has been populated with the items that you selected. Now there's one other way you can actually bring in this assembly without using the section bar and action bar. And that is to actually go to the physical product by right clicking on it. And within it, if you go down to insert within the contextual menu, you can then find existing 3D part and do the exact same thing that we just did using the section bar and action bar. And that is creating an assembly using insert existing 3D part tool. 